Hey guys, it's Becca the Bargainer and I'm back with the Dollar Tree haul. I just wanted to share my finds today. I went to two different Dollar Trees. Both of them were model stores. I don't know if you've ever seen that when you go into your Dollar Tree um, by the office. They have a little office space sometimes that it'll have a little banner and it says model store. But I have two model stores in my area so I always hit those up when I go to Dollar Tree. I try to go to those two and um, Anyway, I'm going to jump into this haul. I have, I don't know, like six bags of stuff, so it's a pretty big haul. I think I got under, I think I got 25 things. So, I mean, I consider that a big haul for me because I don't, um, you know, I'm not made of money, people. So, anywho, <laughs> I was looking for the cashew or kashi, uh, you know, breakfast bars, but I couldn't find them. But I did find some things I was looking for, so let's jump in and... The first thing I'm going to show you are some organ organizing things for my husband. Um, he's been organizing his office, and so I got him two of these metal organizers. These are going to be for um, the drawers in, in our office. We have some drawers, and so he thought these would work well. So I got two of them. And this is a good deal for one buck. You know, it's a really nice organizer. It's going to last forever. You know, it's not flimsy at all. The metal and the price, this thing just popped off, but the actual metal part is not flimsy. <laughs> it's actually pretty good quality, so um, I did get those for him. I also picked up three organizers for his socks in, our, in his dresser. I got three of these little storage solution collapsible, collapsible storage containers, and um, so yeah, I hope these work. They're not that tall. If we don't use it for socks, we might use it for other things, um, for organization throughout the house, but I thought these were nice. All right, let me just grab a bag and we'll just jump into the rest of the stuff. I picked up some little pedigree dentist sticks for my dog. There's five of them in here. This is like a teeny weeny amount, but I just thought, you know, I'm gonna get the quality, I'll get the brand, um, and then, you know, she doesn't have to have as many, but yeah, for her teeth, because. I'm telling you, dogs have bad breath. I picked up this Jergens soap. There's three bars in the pack for one buck. That is a great deal. Jergens um, is really nice. I love their cherry almond pump soap they have there at Dollar Tree. I get it a lot for my kitchen, and that I thought would be nice because I, I tend to use that um, for my face to wash my face. So. That's a really good deal, $1 for three bars of soap. I did find the Callista Tools Complete Texturizing Spray, and sometimes my hair can tend to just be straight as a board, so I thought this might be good to just put on before I use my hot rollers, or um, maybe if I'm going to just brush my hair, I'll just spray it after I brush my hair just to kind of give it some texture. I just thought I would try it. I've never really tried any of these products, but I did find them. At Dollar Tree and I heard that other other youtubers were saying that they were um, a lot more um, to buy so I picked it up I resupplied Coop's spicy brown mustard and yeah this stuff's really good and it's a lot more in grocery stores so I got that okay next bag last time I went to Dollar Tree I bought this plate and it broke Somehow, I must have hit it on a wall or something coming down the hallway. I don't know what happened, but I was going to use it for a DIY that uh, Keeping Up With Miss Electra did. She made these little um, crafts. I'll show you in just a moment once I find the rest of it in my bags. But this is part of a craft, a DIY, that I'm going to be doing shortly on my channel. Actually, I'll probably just show you how it is when it's done because it's not really my idea. I'm just kind of copying um, Miss Electra. So. I got some more hair ties because I cannot even find this. I bought this before for myself and I cannot find it in my house. So I bought another one because I last night I was searching for a hair tie. did not know where one was. I'm like searching through all my drawers trying to find it. So I have to have a hair tie when I go to bed. All right. Now, Dollar Tree had so many new things. I want to show you just a quick clip of some things that I saw at Dollar Tree that were brand new, really cutie stuff, um, some food, just a couple little snips here and there that I want to take pictures of. So I'm just gonna show you just a couple pictures, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I was most excited about. So I hope you enjoy. I 
I ended up getting one of, or actually two of these big pastas. Um, the one that I picked up was the Giggly, and I liked the shape of the pasta. It's kind of like, I don't know, it almost looks like calamari a little bit. I mean, it just has really nice ripples on the, on the ends of it, and I thought this would be really great for a soup or something like that. If you guys have any ideas, maybe you can give me some ideas, but I thought maybe a soup would be good, like pasta bazool or something, and use that as the noodle. And then they also have this one, it's Lumas, Luma Coney. And this one I'm going, I feel like I'm going to attempt, <laughs> I've never attempted it before, but I want to attempt to stuff the shells. And they're, they're not that deep of a shell, but I thought um, that that would be a really good idea. It's imported by R&V Imports, Lake Forest, Illinois. That's all the information I could find. And most of the, most of the information here is in a different language. And I, I'm guessing, oh, it does say product of Italy, but it says P-R-O-C-U-T, wait, P-R-O-C-U-C-T. So it's not even spelled correctly. Product of Italy is not spelled correctly. So I don't know where this stuff came from originally, but it looks good. So I'm going to try it. <laughs> now I've picked up two books two little notebooks and I was so pumped to get these because I really think that these are some of the nicest notebooks at Dollar Tree that I have purchased. The only other one that I would kind of put in this category is the ones that were um, pictures of different countries like Rome, Italy. Um, there was like, um, I think it was like England, London, England, Paris. Um, so these little notebooks I got today, I was so excited to get. And here's the first one. They had three one said dream, one said something else, I can't remember now, <laughs> smile, and then this one said amazing. And um, it's kind of funny, my husband makes fun of me, because um, I always say amazing, like this is so amazing, and everything's amazing, so how can it be amazing if it's, if, you know, if everything's amazing, how can one thing be amazing? I don't know. Anyway. So I did get this little pink book and inside is it's a really nice little book here It's lined and on the bottom you can choose the month So there's like a line with all the months and then you can circle the day and it goes from 1 to 31 So you could even use this as a little journal and you just circle the month like one page You could use as a journal and you could write something for that day circle the month circle the day and that's your journal And so this is such a cute little thing and it's a really soft material like just a really nice soft material and I just think this is the cutest little book um, I liked this one the best I like pink better the word amazing was kind of a funny thing so I, that's why I picked it up and the other one I got says do what you love which yeah I thought this was really nice and I had seen several youtubers hauling these different ones with the little um, elastic around it which is so nice to have but this is the one that I thought was the best looking one and inside it just has lined pages so I want to use these books I may give them away as gifts I'm not really sure yet but this one I might use for amazing ideas because I've lately have been kind of out of ideas for my channel so maybe I can write some ideas in here for my channel and anyway great deal at Dollar Tree for only one dollar I could not believe it. I got a big old loaf of bread. This is the Nature's Own Life Seven Sprouted Grains Bread. Thought I would just give it a try. These are usually $2.49 at my grocery store, this brand. So for $1, yes, I think that is a good deal. <laughs> so nice to get a good deal, guys. I love it. Bargaining is just the greatest feeling. And then we picked up some more saltines. These are, there's four in a pack. So like when you open it up, it's just like a regular pack of saltines. These are amazing. I recently reviewed them on my Dollar Tree food review. So if you haven't checked out that video, I'll have it linked below. There's other Dollar Tree things that I've tried. And today I wanted to try this for you on my channel. It's called the Pizzette. And it is, uh, let's see, it's Granada, Padano, and Tomato. It's like a cheese, um, I'm just gonna try it. But these look so amazing. Ooh, they're kinda, they're like bagels, bagel chips. That is so good. It's really, really good. You get a whole bunch of them in there too. And they had two different kinds at Dollar, they had three different, three different kinds at Dollar Tree. They had olive, tomato, and garlic. So yeah. 
little chips and this there's cheese on each bagel chip so this has these have cheese it says with real cheese so definitely pick these up I would just pick them all up because I, I'm kind of kicking myself now um, when I go back to Dollar Tree I'll get these again because these are so good the last few things that I got I did pick up this little um, bowl and I'm going to be putting it on top of this plate just like that this is the DIY that I have and then I'm going to be putting this little bunny inside the pl underneath the glass and then I'll put little eggs around it with moss brown and green moss it's the most adorable DIY I've seen in a long time on YouTube it is such an easy thing to do the only thing that I'm not gonna do probably is paint this uh, I probably won't paint this and I probably won't paint the knob that I have because the knob is white and I don't really have paint for it and I think it's once I cover this with moss you won't really see the bottom of it anyway so yeah I'm gonna put this little rabbit in the little I forget what Miss Electra called it I think it's a, a cloth or I'm not sure but you got to watch her DIY it's so good but anyway I got these two last time I went to Dollar Tree this thing broke that was so disappointing and um, yeah the lady at Dollar Tree told me today that I could have brought it back but anyway just a quick funny story today when I went to Dollar Tree my favorite Dollar Tree store um, the one I always go to first is um, the one the lady at the register we've talked before and we've we've just you know she knows me and I know her I mean not from any other time just from when I go to Dollar Tree but she was like hey I haven't seen you in so long and where have you been and we missed you here and, and I'm thinking man I don't even know this lady but she's told me about her family and um, whenever she sees me at Dollar Tree we talk and stuff and I've never told her that I'm a youtuber and stuff but um, I, pr I really should but <laughs> anyway um, yeah, she was just like, where have you been and stuff? We've missed you. And I was like, well, I try to go to a different, several different Dollar Trees. She's like, what? She's like, you don't cut, you're going to other Dollar Trees? You need to come here. This is the best one. <laughs> it was really funny. So um, coming up on my channel soon, I'm going to be doing a YouTube video, a video about the life of the Dollar Tree hauler or secret life of the Dollar Tree hauler, something like that. And it'll be a tag. So um, I'm hoping that many of you will join in the tag so that will be coming up soon on my channel i'm really excited about that video i was searching to see if anyone else had done the secret life of a dollar tree hauler and i i couldn't find any videos recently i've done the secret life of a youtuber that was like maybe a year ago and that so i've done that one but this one i thought i would create myself so anyway look out for that soon i hope you guys enjoyed my haul today thanks so much for coming by and i'll have some more pictures at the end of the video for you to see things that i saw but did not purchase thanks so much for watching you have a great day